not long ago, deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by boredom and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes venture forth to explore strange new lands. So gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers, and join us on a quest as we make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast. Previously on Botched. Hi, I'm Dale, and I done met some of what could be the best friends of my life. People usually don't let me go out of the bar with them, and these folks are all into it, so I'm pretty into it. Let's go. Welcome back, listeners, to the 47th episode of our seventh season. Thanks so much for tuning in again. We are going to start a little bit later than where we left off last time, as the group was riding to the city of Sergio, uh, since they heard that is the last place that... uh, the I believe the changeling went with the pistol, and Spoilers. it's also the last place that uh, Smiling Tom went. And for anyone not aware, there are little monsters just crawling all over the West. So uh, yeah, everyone's kind of going a little crazy at the moment. So you guys are riding up to Sergio right now, and you see hundreds, if not thousands, of people uh, sort of hustling, bustling through the town like panicked very very panicked as they're trying to load this very long wagon train and get all their belongings and as you guys are about to enter the town you notice that there is a rough gruff human standing there with a six shooter on his uh his waist and he's just sort of giving you the the look of you should probably stop before you try and pass him kind of thing oh oh hey there bud how's it going this look it's going great how are you, partner? Oh, giddy up. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, can you maybe direct me to the most local uh, alcohol establishment? Because these all motherfuckers drank my beer. The well. Liquor well? <laughs> Liquor well, yep. God damn. I've come to paradise. It flows. Liquor well. J- just met her bell. Well, well. well. Clancy. Good job. Well, I'm well done, so Clancy. Thirsty. You did, you did great. So, <laughs> so thirsty. Dry turtle. With that, here. we're going to introduce our super special guest, Josh from the Nintendo Powercast. Woo! Thanks so much for oh. being here, Josh. I absolutely loved your look of terror as you tried to think of <laughs> that first line. <laughs> I asked you to love you too, bud. I think that I was I was about ready to yell, "Line, somebody, please." <laughs> <anybody>. <laughs> Then you just have somebody, like a little goblin, run up behind you and they tell you what you're supposed to say. Pretty like, much, oh, this, yeah. This is the line you're supposed to say, boss. And then they scurry Fine. away. Or they're just holding cue cards off to the side. I could go either way with this. I didn't bring my glasses. I, 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 got, I better open up AI. Hang on. I need to get <laughs> lines. Chat GPT. <laughs> tell, <me, laughs> tell me what to say. <laughs> what would I a cowboy say? Line. What would a cowboy <laughs> say, Chat GPT? <laughs> here. <laughs> So yeah, what would a cowboy say? That is the situation you guys find yourselves in. I don't remember what we were doing. <laughs> uh, we w- we was riding off here because we're trying to uh, get the gun first before that fucking. Oh yes, yes. There's a giant demon spitting out little baby monsters all over the west, oh, yeah. and they've overrun one city, and now they're spreading in every direction from that, including the where you're coming from or where you're currently um. located. Actually, nobody's been able to factually prove that it's a demon yet. Okay, that's just what people are saying. Sure, it was, yeah, right. it, it was a sky baby. It was a sky. There hasn't baby. been a single study confirming that yet. It was a sky baby from the skunt. Yes, it, uh, mm-hmm. it could be a wraith. Skunt in the sky keeps on birthing. Yes, pretty much. Okay, <laughs> I guess I, Don't. the sky would be redundant. Skunt. I guess it's the sky. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Yeah, something was there. Don't go getting your spurs in a twist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That can happen? <laughs> I'm usually not sober when I'm riding. Let me check. They do get jammed up. You, you'll trip. Now, well, sir, here in Sergio, we've never been. Uh, we're definitely not wanted by the law. Uh, are you kind of like the sheriff or... What's, what's everybody doing here? 
w- one might say I'm like the lawman around here. All right. I-, I reckon this town ain't big enough for the both of us. <laughs> There's at least five of us here right now. Do you, do you just yeah. have an? Oh, do you just have an IMDb I, up of lies? I just, I just, I, I told Chat GTP. I said, "What would a cowboy say?" Love it, love it. <laughs> Fair. I mean, I guess that's why everybody is leaving, right? What? He, he's running them off. He, right. I think he's running everybody he's off. He's going one up. by one, yes. saying the town's not big enough for the both of us, and then handing them a bus ticket and then a to bus get ticket, out of here. Yes. yes. Well, uh, uh, if, if we were to, like, walk into the town, are you going to, like, shoot me or my horse, sir? No, come on in. Enjoy the liquor well. All right. <laughs> A liquor well to you, too. Hi, my name's Dale. Dale Hoyt, Jr. I'll extend my hand in a shaky sacrifice. <laughs> A shaky sacrifice? Do you race NASCAR? Nah, I'm more into bar games. Uh, I've done some boat racing uh, at the bar and uh, sometimes a foot race, but... Steamboat racing. NASCAR my, is my a father, bar game if you're brave enough. My father was a horse racer. <laughs> you can put a bar on anything. What What time period are we in? Wow. Uh, so this is like a fantasy western, so I would say like... If you're going to put it to a normal time frame, probably 1860s. Okay. There's a train. There's, tra- there's trains, there's steamboats, there's guns. Uh, and no NASCAR. Just, no NASCAR no yet. No, no, I mean, just, you, could, you could still say that. NASCAR was my father's horse. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Just okay. strap metal to horses and call it NASCAR. It's fine. I got another no. line. That's a bunch of hogwash. <laughs> I, I think he just, that's... He just fucking Admiral. called you out, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, he's talking about my friend Ad- Admiral <laughs> fucking Scuttle. Ah, no, I think he called you a liar. Oh, sorry, I ain't from around here. Uh, I, you're right. My dad did not own a horse named NASCAR. It was Nah Scar, because um, it had a big old cut uh, right around his face. Then why was it Nah Scar? <laughs> the other horses would gnaw on the scar, <laughs> and it, it kind of just like ripped open real much. And uh, that's when I started drinking, and I left home. So I love that horse. I don't like to talk about it. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm talking to my new friend. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm just existing. <laughs> At least Floating somebody around is. in the sky. <clears throat> can, we, can we call out to some people who are packing up yeah. all their stuff? There are literally thousands of people all over the place trying hey. to fit into a wagon train that is definitely not big enough to fit thousands of people. Hey, you, refugee. Refugee. Yeah. What? What's going on here? Why are y'all leaving? Fucking monsters, man. Fucking monsters. Well, I mean, I don't know if that's what they're doing, but they monsters. Have huge sticks. <laughs> Could, I don't know. They carry people away. I ain't gonna, like I'm not sticking around all the time. to their bedrooms. <clears throat> Maybe, I don't know. I'm not gonna find out. I'm getting the fuck out of here. At night? Day, night, they don't give a shit. You mean they're here right now? I mean, not. go get a spyglass and look out there on the distance. You can I, probably see them. I heard, I heard those are... Heard them spy glasses are dangerous. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna reach for one. They'll put your eye out. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I understand. If you got bird bones, uh-uh. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm not. I'm, I'm just like a little halfling. So. All right. Uh, wh- is so is anyone guarding the bar, or is everyone just free fleeing town? Fleeing town. Woo! Is he? Uh, is the god gun around here? You know. Oh yeah, the thing. What? The thing you kill monsters with. God gun. Yeah, you know every town has it. Smiling a Tom's name. here. If that's what you're wondering. Uh, he's he's oh, looking sweet, for so we're on the right track. All right. Uh, do you know which way he went? Uh, if I recall. Hold on. Let me pull up her name. I uh, forgot it. <laughs> I had a, a table here. Uh, what's the name of the gun we're after? The Colt. The, the Colt. The Colt. Yeah. Right. God gun was season four. I'm yep. sorry. Hey, Mr. Godman, I didn't catch your name. I'm sorry. You talking about me? Yeah. No, I'm talking to the man who who met us at the edge oh, of the city and God looked man. at us like he wanted us to die, Mr. Godman. Mm. Oh, God. Well, my name, my name is Sheriff Colton. Oh, Sheriff Colt Colton, or Lawman Colton. Law- Oh, John uh, Sh- Colton Lawman. Got it. Um, <laughs> Mr. Lawman, um, 
have you seen any cool guns lately? Besides the ones on my hip? I I I I eye the glass the, the guns on his hip and I would like to know voice and head, are they cool? Oh he's got a big iron on his hip. Uh -huh. uh, well done. Mm -hmm. is uh, it? Also, to answer the previous question, Ecstasy is the name of the town leader, and uh, yeah, so <laughs> probably he's he's over there with the Ecstasy at our headquarters, trying to figure out what to do next. I don't know. She I'm getting the fuck out of here. She like a humongous or hang, something. Well, now, hang on a minute. Now, have you seen anybody that might possibly uh, turn into somebody else? What? Shapeshifters. Like, are you How aware? would I know? Yeah, like not in a personal growth way, well, but in like an well, immediate sense. Skinwalkers. Yeah. You'd probably know like if if you thought somebody was dead, but then you saw them walking around the town, that'd probably that'd probably be a pretty good indication, I'd think. I didn't see that, but I would say my wife's a skinwalker, so you should probably, you know, get rid of her just to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that it's you probably could, so you could just leave her. You don't have to kill her. I she's my ex wife. I did leave her. All right. We'll just let bygones be bygones. I hate it. Yeah, you Dude. don't have to keep calling her a whore. It's not really coming. I didn't say becoming. it. You said it. You th oh, okay. I didn't disagree with it, but I didn't uh, say it. <laughs> well, can I run for my life Sometimes things now? don't work out. That's fine. Yeah. Well, wait, wait, wait. Before you run. Uh, uh, See, I, uh, I, can't even, I can't even run away from my life. Has anyone been framed for murders that they swear they didn't commit recently? Like, are they in, in the jail real quick? <laughs> Who hasn't? <clears throat> Who hasn't yeah, been that's framed a for murders? That's a common occurrence here? Everywhere? It's a, it's the West. Hello. I, uh, I see. Pretty sure I committed every murder I've been accused of. Yeah, I mean, most of the time wow. we, we I, did. It was just, we say we didn't know. We don't get hung. Clancy. Yeah. I think we should take this guy. He knows a lot about he's this he's town. He's very, very, yeah. yeah. I think oh, yeah. he would be helpful on our journey. Hey, um, you shouldn't leave just yet. Let me ask you a question. What's oh, your favorite God. stock horse? Stock S horse? Syndrome. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what that Nashar. means. Nashar. Nashar? Nashar. Yeah, the National Association of S Stock Horse Association. What's a, what's a stock horse? Hey, Dennis. Yes. I'm going to stealth around behind this little little halfling. Yeah, there's a lot of chaos, so he doesn't pay any. He's not cool. Here. Can I, I'm just going to I'm going to pick him up. You're going to pick him up? <laughs> yeah, I, I figure I could just pick him up. Strength check, because uh, I don't believe your wizard character is very strong. Uh, no, I'm not that strong, but it's a little a little person. It's basically a grapple check. <laughs> He's, he's just, just a, a little halfling. guy. He's just a little guy. He's a, he's I a feel little like. guy. Okay. He's a halfling uh, <laughs> naked wrestling champion. That's pretty good, though. I got an 18. I got a critical 20. Hey. Yeah, you pick him up. Hey, I got and he flails wildly, but uh, you know his what? limbs are too tiny. Ah. He can't hit you. Um, I have a bandolier on, yes? As a pirate, I've got a bandolier. Sure, now you do. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put him inside me bandolier like a front-loaded baby holder. Aren't those usually fairly tight? I figure uh, not mine. I've lost it's a lot of pounds it's not recently. Not a papoose. I cut out uh, air from me diet and I stopped eating bread. You see. He did. So I. Uh, the po pokes his head up from my little papoose and looks over at the little halfling. Huh? Ah. I just want to, you know, tuck the little guy in there. Make him feel comfortable. I mean, you you kind of just force him into your chest, and he's just kind of stuck in the folds of your of your f <laughs> super frilly Lizard shirt. Skin? It's like that scene from Alien in Reverse. He just pushes him in. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. So yeah, so he's hey, he's bud. in there, but he's not happy about well, it. I don't think he was going to be happy no matter where he went. What, what's your name, guy? My name is fucking. Let me go. Okay, I'm gonna, write, um, I'm gonna write that one down. Mr. Don't let me go, I need you to calm down. I'll calm right, down so if you let me go! Alright, so I guess we're going to take ecstasy or something, right? Yep. Colton sure. Woman, are, are you are you cool with them just straight up cool. taking someone? Yeah, how do you feel about <laughs> extrajudicial kidnapping? They're just picking it's up. It's not kidnapping until we move him. Half napping? I'm just staying still right now. Uh -huh. He's the, the, he's being detained. Right now, it's just simple battery. <laughs> They're doing me a favor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, I don't think it's very fair to call that halfling simple. He, he's well well spoke. He he's got his words together. Hey Dennis, roll intelligence for this halfling, please. <laughs> Is he simple? Are you are you really doing the Jar Jar Binks I spec defense for intelligence? Uh, he is, like, 
doctorate level intelligence. Oh, mm. that's all what of a sudden I want. he pulls out tiny spectacles and puts them on. Oh, I think he's challenging you, Clancy. Hello, Doctor Baby. <laughs> I'm not a baby. Goo, goo, you're goo. A, you're a baby. Well, your degree didn't save you from getting picked up and put in a little papoose now, well, did it? That's because he's a giant r reptilian monster. And you have crushing stupid. I dad. also How does have that feel. I've got feelings. I, I may school. be a pirate lizard, but I got feelings. Guys, 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 what do we need him for though? He's got he's got a, he's a font of information. <laughs> he's yeah. a what are you talking about? You could have asked anybody, they would have told you the same stuff. I, I, yeah, I but say you talk to maybe us. Maybe minus yeah, the ex wife stuff. He ain't gave us nothing. Why, why don't we stop degrading that a man with a degree? Except ex-wife might be a changeling. Yeah. She's definitely a changeling. Oh, never mind. Let's keep him then. 100%. I'll point her out for you right now. Just take her right <laughs> no, out. No, I, I mean, I, boom, I, problem mind. solved for I everybody. He's lying. He's lying. All right, let's 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 not degrade the degree man and uh, let's let's let him get on his All way. Right. Let, let him think, go and put the sheriff in your papoose. I think that, no, I think the sheriff, <laughs> the sheriff is a perfectly capable <laughs> walker. Wait, I'm okay with Unless this. Unless he wants to be, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a human. You I don't think want... Gizzard's big enough to have a, a normal-sized you know human Let in him. Let me roll for <laughs> it. Dragonborn hey. are pretty big. We can try. We can try. That's true. I can try to do this. Okay. All right. Try. Puppies wants piggy if... fronts. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna brace him. You... I'm gonna take. You... Oh, sorry. You guys mentioned the chainling or the changeling. What did it look like as it was heading towards our town? Oh, it looked like uh, him. No. No, it, it looked like changed. a bastard. It was somebody's it looked like, dead so brother, right? You know, yeah, you know the Winchester dudes, uh, fellers, boys, them them the guys brothers. that's related? Sean yeah. and Dam? Yeah. It looked like their forgotten brother, Abram. <laughs> it's not confusing at all. I mean, all the <laughs> points on the, on the uh, Pepe Sylvia board are right back behind me. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. There's there's definitely been some strangers around these parts. No question. The Winchester brothers' lost brother, though. That's what we're. His dead brother. De yeah. Dead brother. They yeah. lost okay. him to death. Yeah, they lost yeah. him to death. <laughs> yeah, you know when you lose someone like that. <laughs> he lost his battle against bullets. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Hit stage four bullet. It's very quick. Bullet shaped yeah. cancer of the brain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Immediate onset. <laughs> yeah, his screamo therapy didn't work. Mm -hmm. There was this guy. Every time he took a drink, he was leaking. Huh? I mean, in in their defense, I kind of do that too. Like, yeah, out, once out you break the, the seal, yeah, if you don't do enough kegels, like we all do it, it's fine. <laughs> My quick, I could probably use a little kegel. Just a little pants pee pee is, you know, it's fine. <laughs> My ex-wife did that after she had a uh, three kids. We are let you go. Uh, I, ha I haven't. All right, hold all right. on. Yeah, I'm still here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna lift him out of uh, my uh, ben bandolier and uh, swat his butt as he runs away. Get on now. He picks up his bag of books. Uh, that I he's didn't been say you could have astrophysics, those. and he, he just runs All off. Right, that guy funny. was a nerd. I think we kind of let go a, g a golden opportunity. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we got us a guide right here in this friendly old lawman. I assume you're old, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty old, and uh, <laughs> I think I think we need to. Uh, I do think we need to move away from uh, this this particular area while everybody's loading up. There, there's there's a spot I'd like to take you guys to that we can investigate. All right, and uh, it is a bar, so it should okay. uh, that should yeah that that should that, that should suffice. So. Uh, I guess we just head that way. Sure. So you guys push further into the town past the hundreds and thousands of screaming, panicking people who are just looting and taking whatever they can and strapping it to this uh, wagon train. And you guys head over to the saloon, which is pretty close to the entrance of town. And you head in, and there's about a dozen or so people in here who are just downing as much booze as they can as fast as they can before they have to leave for their trip. And there's still a bartender cleaning a single glass over on the side, even though the world is burning down around him. Pretty much. Hey, bars are, rece are refugee proof. Sees you guys come in, uh, especially looks over at Colton, uh, Colton Lawman, and he gives you, gives you the nod as he, can, he more vigorously rubs the glass. There are... 
I would say about a half dozen open tables in this place. There's a set of stairs that go upwards to some uh, rooms, and then it looks like there's a side door, possibly to a kitchen. Well, Colton's from here, so he would know it's to a kitchen. And there's also another door off to the side that goes into the basement. What's the name of this here establishment? The Liquor Well. Bucky's. Oh, Bucky's. <laughs> oh, no. Bu- Bucky's buckets of liquor out the well. Yeah. Bucky Bucket. Now, uh, let's uh, let's have a seat over at this uh, at this table here. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's your that's a usual table. Is like the fishbowl in the front, or is it in the corner? It's uh, over over in the corner. All right. Okay. You go over there. There's not really any other patrons close by. They're kind of all close to the bar, so they can keep re-upping their drinks uh, and get real shitty before they head out. I can go dice over. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have some roadies. Uh huh. Uh, bar wench comes over and asks if you uh, want to uh, need anything. Well, hey, darling. Are there any uh, any bar games of skill or bar games of chance going on in this establishment? Because I really think I could... Darts? Darts or... Uh, there's darts and there's poker. Poker's great, too. People are playing bar games as the world is ending. No, we, we just gamble. have them available. You gotta, uh, okay. No one's gambling? No one's trying to gamble, double up their money before they go? No, not right now. They're just getting drunk. Hey, all you drunkards. <laughs> if y'all want to try to double up your money on the way out the door, I'll buy a round of drinks and we can play some poker. Okay. Maybe they'll tell me about changelings. Plate is just staring at Dale with the <laughs> face like, ugh. All six of them are now standing. Do you want to like drag them over to a table that's not the one that you're currently yeah, looking Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go two tables over, play cards with these guys. We can do a series of rolls while we also drink. And then all these smart p- folk who've been on an adventure for a long time can figure out what's going on. So, Mr. Lawman, Officer Lawboy. So you guys um, sit down at that table in the corner? Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I th- yes, we agreed upon that. It's a pretty well-lit corner. There's a very fancy chandelier uh, directly over top of that table. Uh, there's a few other ones in this establishment evenly spaced out. But, uh, but yeah, so yours is a pretty well-lit table in the corner. What? What's up? Sheriff, it, is the, is the barmaid still here? I'd like to order a white claw. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still here. Yeah, I'll get you a white claw. It's a just an actual claw of a, a monster. It's, it's milk with yeah. with like a venom in it. Quite an ironic drink for a man of the law, considering claw man. that they he's make. A, he's, a, he's a claw man. Yeah, but the claws negate all laws in their proximity. I don't know where you got that information from. It's on the can. Everybody knows it. It's, it's not. Yeah. It's not made in the can. Everybody knows. <laughs> it's that on the claw. No laws when you're on the claws. I milk the goat outside, and then I just rip off one of the poisonous goat claws claw. And... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Speckled goat claw. Brown goat claw. It's the poisonous. Hell, we even got white goat it's claw. The poisonous goat dew claw. Everyone knows about those. Goats ain't got no dew claws. These do. <laughs> They're poisonous. They got. It's like a platypus. They got vestigial. <laughs> Festival stummy boys. Yeah, I got there. hooves except for the dew claw. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a platypus. It's poisonous as shit. Get you real drunk. Well, you, I'll just don't eat the shit. You'll be good. Yeah. I know, but it smells so good. Is there anything else you <laughs> it's guys just want? Mouth watering. I all. just I just want to point out that goats do have two dew claw hooves, but it's fine. I've been wrong. What? Wow. Eat a dick. <laughs> you didn't know that, Dennis. Shut the fuck I, up. I, I totally Damn knew that. You, Dennis. you didn't know that. If there's one thing that's on his Google history, it's it's goat 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 do claws. Felita, the goat maker. <laughs> goat do claw. Uh, I'll, claw I'll through a, a river of shit. I'll have a good chamomile tea, please. She just stares at you with her mouth slightly agape, and she's like, "Sure, I'll have a gimlet." Okay. You got mozzarella sticks here? No. All right. We're not serving food Aww. right now. The chef ran off. Well, listen, if you do um, get mozzarella sticks back one day and then y'all have a waffle iron, you should make waffles with mozzarella sticks in it. That's all I'm Waff- saying. Waffle I mean, that sounds amazing. Waffle sticks, yeah. Yeah, the fuck? Okay. The show's hey. canceled, guys. I got something to do. <laughs> do you, do you, <laughs> Mr. Lawman, do you, do you want a drink, Mr. Lawman? It's on the house. 
He already ordered a white Oh, that's right. I'm oh, sorry. I forgot. Are you drunk on the job? You should listen. I mean, you should. Don't judge me. I won't judge you. You should really write everything down. I, I know it's that all you, up here. Yeah, but there's nothing up there. So but that's like, the problem. The point that she's pointing at is there's like a big dent in her skull because she's been hit, pointing that spot so many times oh. to say that it's up there. So she's probably got a little bit of brain damage. That's probably why. She can't remember. Actually, actually uh, if you keep bumping the same spot, on a bony surface, it would create an outdentation, a bump. Mm -hmm, it's true. Yeah, yeah, but she used to do it with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have real bad headaches. Not anymore. Doesn't work the same thing with teeth, though. Okay. Can so, that barmaid uh, send a dealer over to the table, please? Yes. Yeah, so she heads on over, picks up the drink order, and then uh, puts on a little cap. And a set of cards, and she gives you all the drinks, and then she sits down, and she starts to very quickly shuffle cards. No, over at this table. Oh, sorry. And then she gets over and goes to the other table. And I, I need six pitchers of beer. Takes the hat back off, goes over <laughs> to the bar, gets six pitchers of beer, comes back, gives you the beer, puts the hat back on, then sits well, back I still down. see why you wouldn't have taken both tables order at once. It's only two tables. You're doing Deals great. Deals out the cards. Here's a tip. Oh, okay. Do right. better. <laughs> Do better. And there's what? There's uh, five other people yes, playing there's, cards? There's five other people playing cards with you. What kind of... So you want like a luck roll and then a, a skill roll or what? Um, Just roll me a d20. I got a crit 20. Okay. Well, we're just handing those out kill, today. Yeah. Killing it. I got the wolf's head. Hey, Phil, these have wolf's head on I, No, I thought they were uh, You win the round easily. Uh, most of them are so drunk that they, they keep going in further and further, and they bet a lot of money only to, to lose it. Did I double up my money? What was the what was your money? I, I, uh, six. Ten gold? <laughs> yes, you've doubled your money. I got 20 gold. All right. Um, I'm, I'm going to play another round. Okay. Looks like they're they're feeling a little leery about playing more cards with you. Uh, um, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Considering how well you did on that first hand. Before, before we play again. Yeah. Y'all have heard anything about... Motherfucking changelings. <laughs> I was changelings? Just, I was just one town over, and they were talking about changelings and how oh they God. framed they framed the the innocent birdman. Uh -huh. That's all we hear the, about. They used changelings. Different. That's all you hear about. That's all we hear about. Changelings are coming to take your children. Changelings are ruining this town. Changelings are going to overthrow the government. That change will change will change will change your fucking tune, buddy. Change is gonna come. Well, I thought the changelings was all hunted down before. Yeah, it doesn't stop people from keep saying it. It's just a booger man. There's no changeling. They're all dead. Yeah, it doesn't matter who's in charge. Nothing ever changes. That's right. <laughs> well, as long as smiling Tom. No offense, Lama. I mean, he's just a cog like <laughs> us. <clears throat> Listen up, folks. I got something to tell you. You're something changeling? that might sound downright crazy. I had to bring you in here. Cause this is kind of a test, all right? A few nights ago, I caught a stranger lurking around town, acting more suspicious than a coyote in a hen house. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but something about him didn't sit right with me. I decided to haul him in and get some answers. Hmm. Didn't take long to realize we weren't dealing with an ordinary drifter. One minute, he was looking like a grizzled old prospector. The next, a young woman. Oh, holy shit. Back east. Like a did did you did get really drunk in between those two things? <laughs> with with goat claw, there's no laws. All right, so <laughs> it didn't take no genius to figure out we had ourselves a changeling. I got claw, him locked up in the jailhouse. Who? Oh. Now in the jailhouse. Here's where now? things. Here's where things get tricky. This changeling claims to be Jesus. with you guys. With us? Was he know us by name? He just mentioned there was some strangers going to be wandering in. Maybe, uh, maybe part of his crew. All right. That sounds That's sussy. Inter hey, hey, y'all playing cards with me? I don't want to play cards. Fuck with off! You. <laughs> but you can drink this beer. All right. Then just drink it. And then they scuttle away. Scuttle? Uh, yeah, Are they crab people? No, they're just drunk. Okay. They get, and they have to shit. Bartendris? So right. Bartendris? Yeah. Can you 
how many? What you got to go? Like bottles? <clears throat> Whatever you even, want. I, I want to fill my 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 brewer's bag back up. You got go cups? I didn't get give my you a tea. tanker to go. I wanted, I'm point. still waiting right. on my tea. Give me that. I'm pretty sure they don't have open container laws here. If it's it is to go, uh, it's being overrun. A so. Well, I mean, I, I want to fit a bunch of not open containers in my backpack oh, for later. Yeah, I'm sloshing yeah, around. Yeah, I got it. I got yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. I want to buy that buy whole with my winnings. She's like, okay, well, I'll be back in five minutes with your orders then. And she walks out the back. We're nev- yeah, we're never so, going to see those orders. Officer law, law person. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this goes without saying simply because it's obviously the thing we would say in response to what you said. We are not with the changeling. Uh, they are not part of our crew. Religion. Cabal. Were we to ostensibly have a crew, he would not be in it, nor would we be in his. Oh, shit, y'all in the crew? Can I, I'm, I'm in the crew, right? One of the drunks well, is walking by your table in a gold coin um, falls out of his pocket and rolls over underneath Colton's chair. You on the take? I mean, it, it fell out of his pocket and rolled over to his chair. Uh-huh. It fell out of his pocket just like those goods fell mm-hmm. off of that truck. Yeah. Exactly. Now I think protected. I'm gonna, I think I'll. I think I'll pick this coin up. Okay. You lean down and pick up the coin. Everyone else, roll me a it's perception poisonous. check. Yeah. Okay. Was it Tom? <laughs> Was the coin Tom? He changed. He wasted He's a that changeling. twenty. Tom's a changeling. I got a six. Okay. <clears throat> Eleven. Okay. So surely my glasses. Nope. That's not what they do. God damn it. <laughs> um. All right. Hold on. Oh, wait. 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 I got it. I got it. This is I not promise. a contract that has appeared. So no. Yeah. Your glasses. I mean, don't it's shit. not a coin. A contract. Nine. It's not a country. Coin. You're not perceiving the coin. Uh, and the bearer? Only Felita notices as, and, and sort of uh, backs up suddenly as the chandelier falls on the table, uh, dealing damage to everyone except for Felita and Colton since he happened to be leaning down and, at that point. And Dale because he's half a table over playing cards. I thought you well, there's nobody over there at the table. I, I didn't I say you. I come back around now, did okay. I? Well, then it's just Clancy and Gizzard. Fuck so you, the, Clancy. So the, the chandelier falls on me? Yes. Does it crack his he- turtle shell? Hey! <laughs> Falls on you and Gizzard. Ow. I mean, it's a very small chandelier. It's not a chandelier. It's, not, it's, if you yes, will. it's, it's a, a mi- pretty big chandelier. I mean, like when it's a chandelini. You... Yeah. Is it a mimic? It's a, it's a <laughs> sham wow. It's a sham ow as it falls uh, on, on my head. I would never swing from this chandelier here. Uh, you guys, on. you guys are bleeding profusely from the head, oh, and you have other little cuts over your shoulders and whatnot, uh, as you have been pretty badly injured by the chandelier falling on you. That, that chandelier had a lot of pointy stuff on it. Wow! But you are, you know, you're just, you're just hurting quite a bit. Okay. Uh, line, what in tarnation? <laughs> <laughs> and the the drunk that had walked by is just, whoa, whoa, what was that? And just starts word, to move word away. Word Did you say word at? What was that? And then he just, Did he say who dat? Is he a Saints fan? He just, yeah, who day, who dat? And he, he walks away. Him. I'm a sweet delay. Kills him. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Brees is better than Matty Ice. But. What? <laughs> oh, Felita kills him. Felita absolutely fucking wrecks him. 28 to 3. 28 oh, to 3. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, Dennis, don't you bring that shit here. <laughs> it doesn't live here. I'm free and safe here. Go right. birds. Go birds. <laughs> he says as he wanders away. Sheriff, are you in charge of code enforcement for this town, or is that a separate non-criminal entity? <laughs> are you calling the sheriff a criminal entity? <clears throat> non-criminal law-based entity. Is it a separate jurisdiction, you know? If if you see this claw in my hand, you know I'm off the clock. Oh. Yeah. Is there a deputy I could talk to? <laughs> Deputize him. <laughs> deputy got killed. <laughs> Deputy's dead. Uh, what, what's what? what's that guy at the other table? What's code. his name? Dale. Dale. That, yeah. Come, deputy, you want? Come here. I got a. I got a. I got a star to pin on your chest. Hell yeah, baby! <laughs> deputy Dale's coming to town. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God the season's almost over. <laughs> that shit's gonna go right to his head. I kneel like I'm about to get knighted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I. 
love you. <laughs> I do like love a, you. Uh, it's made of paper. <laughs> it, it, it's a sheriff. The S is backwards. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, well, it's one of those de- sheriff stickers that they give children when they visit the, uh, yeah. the precinct. <laughs> Times are tight. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stick that right to your chest there, boy. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. As you pin that to his chest, we're going to take a break. Hello, listeners. It is I, Dennis, the world's most okayest DM, here to talk to you about patreon.com slash botch podcast. Now, you may be asking yourselves, Dennis, what do I get over at patreon.com slash botch podcast? Well, aside from the amazing Discord with all of our amazing fans or even the art that you get every so often, as long as we can get the artist section, make the art, or the playing with us every other week on one of the highest possible tiers, or maybe even just getting the title of God King that we read at the end of every episode. But no, the main thing that you ought to be worried about are the bi-weekly episodes that we release just for patrons. This month is no exception, and for a first on Botched, Jenna DMs something for us. Now, she has DM'd many times at DragonCon, but she's never actually DM'd anything for Botched. So, this changes this month. She, in fact, DM'd an amazing episode where we all play animatronics in a Disney World-esque style adventure. So, I highly recommend everybody go check those out. And here's a little taste. What does it look like when this kid dies? Well, (laughs) as I'm berating them for being a naughty little bitch... Uh, she starts crying real hard, and, and, and the words just, you can tell, break her emotionally. As she has a flashback to, like, her, her, her grandpappy telling her she was going to grow up to be nothing, and she's always going to be a wasteful piece of shit that would just be a burden on society. And then she snaps back to, to me, laughing right in her stupid little face as her heart just stops. Why? Because she died from a broken heart, but also knowing that her grandpappy's goddamn premonition came true as this six foot five goddamn possum towers above her, pointing his pointy little claw down at her. You're going to die alone because I'm about to leave. And I turn away and my possum tail hits her right in the face. And, and also she bleeds out from the rapier wound in her stomach because she's a small child, Phil. I mean, yeah, that happened as well. <laughs> yeah. It, it gets kind of dark at times, but uh, it's about as ridiculous as you would imagine Botched getting. So definitely head on over to patreon.com slash Botched Podcast and check it out right now. And we love all of you for your support. Thank you so much. Now, back to the show. And we're back. All right. So, what are you guys doing now that this chandelier has fallen on you guys? Well, Felita looks at where the chandelier used to be tied up. Okay. It looks as though uh, the rope had been cut. Huh. Or shot. You're not sure which. Huh. Maybe like at the same time that person dropped the coin, so it was like a (laughs) muffle the sound of the gunshot? It's possible. You're not sure. <laughs> cool. oh, cool. That's yeah. a large coin. Notoriously very loud <laughs> coin Gold. rolling. Goat's heavy, coin. <laughs> can, can, Conveniently, they serve all food on these coins because they are so big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're made of uh, titanium. Or uh, tungsten, I should say. Well, th- does my does my cask of ale come back up? From she left. Yeah, she She's on break. Back. Yeah, she hasn't come back yet. Good thing I didn't prepay. All right. I'm going to pick up that coin off the ground. Oh, well, Colton you, got it. You, yeah, no, you Colton, mean out of me. my pocket? Nope, yeah. nope. Never mind. I got my gold star. I'm good. No, deputy, please, by all means, <laughs> steal <laughs> from me. I feel like this is uh, eminent domain at this point. I'm gonna have to seize that gold coin. <laughs> Look, it. I'm two claws in. Go for it. <laughs> uh, you know deputy what? I just want a bunch Dale. of poker. I'm good. Yeah. De- hey, deputy Dale, do you uh, do you handle code enforcement in this town? Yeah, I'll or write. Is that a here. separate I non-criminal need, entity? Can you write me a? A ticket for this establishment. We'll leave it on the bar, and then we'll go see that changeling in jail. A voice in head. Yeah. yeah. What's the chandelier made out of? Death. Uh, yeah, it's made of death. No, it's made of uh, wood and metal. It looks like, specifically, a very nice mahogany wood. Mahogany. Okay. Yeah. Mahogany. Mm-hmm. And it's Did got you, look- you know candles and stuff. That's how it's lit up. Candles on a wood chandelier. 
Well, the, Did the it look like it hurt them pretty bad? Yeah, they look pretty injured. I mean, they're not I like... I got a fucking hole in my head that blood not, is coming out. They're not I like think? dying... But they did look like they, they took a decent bit of damage from it. I'm going to over-exaggerate. I feel just fine. Thank you, Felita. You were All arguing right. with the homeless man about football or whatever you guys call it. There's a prisoner, I think. Well, I if think you're it, fine. I'm, I'm thinking fine. in jail they play football, <laughs> but... Let's go talk to this prisoner. All right. Lead the way, officer. I'm going to free bleed the whole way. <laughs> you free okay. bleed him. So, Colton, you lead them over across town. This is much further into the town than um, the saloon was. And again, absolute pandemonium in this city at, at this time. As the horde of monsters should be in the town within a few hours, Oh, it, it seems like. So they don't have a ton of time to get out of here. Huh. Um, so you, you see where the jail is. You head that way. You head inside, I assume? Oh, uh, yeah. And it looks as though there are a series of five cells in this jail. And four of the doors are closed with the key still in them. And the fifth one is open. And there's like a bit of, uh, looks like some sort of makeshift rope was created. And like they somehow got a key. You're not sure. But there's a door huh. that is sprung open. Did you leave the key in the lock again, Sheriff? And a series of footprints leading outside. I believe that was my last deputy. Hmm. <laughs> and deputies who fail you, they they just get to leave of their own accord, right? Well, <laughs> if we go around back, I'll show you. I'm, no, I'm, just a whole pile of dead deputies. Oh, <laughs> just a I know about dead it. Deputies, whole. thank you. Dead deputies, deputies. yeah. Just teeth. <laughs> A sea of teeth. <laughs> it's my it's my tooth guard. Shit. How how y'all are tracking? Y'all got tracking now? I'm a, I'm a pirate, you see, so I Only at sea? Well what is uh yeah. I'm not really useful here in the old desert. I got navigation tools, so what kind of shoes are these? Like boots? an investigation to look what, at the boots? what size? <laughs> oh, I, you're talking about the prints. I yeah, think you said they're for prints. I'm honestly pretty shocked that this uh, this cell is open, and I'd appreciate a little help from all of you taking a closer look. No, that's Let not Let me know suspicious. if you find any clues. <laughs> I get within one claw. foot of everything in the room. <laughs> okay. it's So the, the <laughs> footprints are pretty small, I would say. Like uh, halfling size. Not, would you say halfling size? Not that small. I would Damn. just say smaller than an adult male's. Um... A baby male. Not that small. Um, Man baby. An adolescent male. Sure. Could be an adolescent male as far as you know. The They look like boot prints, though. Hmm. Oh. Was that changed with wearing a boot? Can they change their shoes? I mean, I can. I mean, yeah, anyone yeah, can. You just can take them off. Yeah, I'm pretty them off, sure that if, yeah, if, you, if you can wear shoes, you can probably change them. Mm -hmm. No, but like, if they, if they switch shapes mid-run... Did they keep the same shoes on? I don't know. I don't know much about changelings. Okay. So it looks like the cell itself has a number of... I would... Not artifacts, but just like bits and bobs that are in and around the cell, like scrawled on the walls, and it looks like the makeshift bed has been ripped up, and there's hmm. something on the floor. You're not 100% sure. Well, let's I investigate, investigate the graffiti on the walls. Okay. Is anyone else doing any investigating? Felita dig stays outside of the cell, but keeps her eyes on the sheriff. Okay. Hey, I'm going to dig through that shredded bed. <clears throat> I'm under that bed. <laughs> all <right>. Jump bogeys. <laughs> uh, all right. So the, the scrawling on the floor, it looks like it's some sort of doom saying, where it's just like they're coming for us all. They're coming for us all. They're going to steal our souls and take us to the skunt baby. <clears throat> does, it, does it say like ah at the end? No, there's no ah. At does the it trail end. off? No, nope, doesn't do that either. Okay, it's just the same sentence like over. And I over think he's and over. still alive. But it looks like uh, you're gonna guess that it was carved with fingernails because there's a lot of blood and uh, chipped fingernails all over the place. Thanks, bud. You're welcome. Yay! They clawing at the walls again. Yeah. Stop. 
Please stop. These are brown claws, I'm, though, not white. I'm going to climb out from under this bed because I do not want these nails on my. <laughs> it's like uh, cheetah. It's like uh, Dorito crumbs. They're just on the side of your face. Cheetah Guevara. Oh, oh. some uh, some cracked it... bloody fingernails. Uh. Dale, come clean my face. <laughs> all, right. all right. First I, uh, order of business. Open up a little bit of the cask and pour it into uh, what I assume is a bucket nearby. And yeah, splash a, him in the face with it. The piss bucket? Oh, God. <laughs> I emptied it out first, and the alcohol killed the piss, probably. <sighs> piss, ammonia, ethanol together. That's a cleaner. Okay. I think that's mustard gas. <laughs> mustard gas. That's yeah. mustard yeah. gas. Yeah. Ethanol? No, yeah. no, no, ammonia? you're fine. No, that's, you, y'all think about bleach. Dale, let's go meet the other deputy. <laughs> <laughs> deputy Dan? Where is Wait. you? Bleach is an alcohol? Then what the- why have I been drinking it? Why have I been drinking it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Four dollars for a gallon, what a steal! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take out Quick Draw McCaw. Okay. And have him sketch up some quick, uh, crime scene photos. Okay. Jump, jump. He, he does. Well, he hits the bars when he does it first, though, so it's like, jump, jump. He flies out to the local bars and has a drink at every one? Well, it's a self. He's so very he's self-conscious bars. of his drawings. Yes. Self. Yeah. So, I mean, he looks like a parrot, but he's never a parrot. He sketches it from four different angles. <laughs> he did I mean, for his perspective as well. Like sure. He's, he's, yeah, he's putting he that MC degree. Escher'd it, yeah. Yeah. There's a cell within a cell within a cell. Yeah. Which is really just an allegory for his own soul. Exactly. Yeah. You got to think hard when you look at my uh-huh. parrot's drawings. Yeah, good luck using this for any sort of evidence. <laughs> oh, I will. It's going to clear our sure. names at some Are point. Are we worried you'll see. about taking this to court? <clears throat> I don't know. Okay. All right. So under the, under the bed's no good. Yeah. The graffiti's all fucked. What's yes. it? What's in this bed that I'm tearing apart? Uh, feathers. All right. I think it was a bird man. And some of them are yellowed. Or a bird piss lady. Feathers. I do not want to touch the piss feathers anymore. Okay. I mean, it could have been a canary. You said there was stuff on the floor now. Canaries uh, are yellow. That doesn't mean they're covered in piss gizzard. That is, how many times do I have to tell you? Well, this? how else do they get their feathers that color? I don't get it. It's not natural, you see. Mm-hmm. They're full of vitamin B. What's more natural than piss? Jesus. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah. So you got the the thing on the stuff on the floor is just the fingernail pieces. All right. Is there any kind of, like paperwork or anything around here on the, like a desk or anything? Uh, yeah, technically there's some, some What papers. do I read on them? Uh, looks like it's just wanted posters for various criminals. They look like they're fairly aged. They don't have like a, like a... They haven't been updated in a while. Okay, so there's not like a cell, uh, like, like they don't update pa- paperwork every time like somebody gets put in no. and taken out? No. No, they don't okay. do that. Now, I know they're, this, these Colton does point. a lot of white claws, so... Is an update the paperwork. It's just co- the desk is just covered with white cloth. <laughs> That's right. The, he's the he's can, not on the, duty a lot. Cans. My everywhere. deputy was supposed to take the trash out. Okay, I'm he sorry about the mountain him. of yeah, claws. I told him to take it out yesterday. He didn't. So now I've yeah. got his star. That's right. Um, before before we get on the deputy star road, can we? Uh, can I? You want like a survival roll to try to follow these footsteps, footprints, or? So once you get. Past the doorway, it's mm-hmm. going to be impossible to follow the footprints because mm-hmm. there's just so many people everywhere. Even for a, a trained survivalist, you would have to roll a crit twenty to be able to notice. I like to think that Joss's character is just Bob Hoskins from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I did not. But can we investigate these footprints to see if they any more information than just boot? Any more specific? Well, I mean, like, like we could take it. We could take a pressing of it. We could have. We could sketch the tread so a, we can match it to people's. Trace it. Uh, so as you as you kneel down to look at the boot, you do notice a couple droplets of blood. Right to the side of it. Good old blood boot. Small, teeny tiny droplets of blood. You notice. Oof. You notice these droplets continue. Even though the footprints are all mashed up, you see these little droplets going in the I track the, 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 bud, the bloodlets. The bloodlets. The bloodlights. Blood the bloodlights. Got it. <laughs> did you... Hey, Colton, did you happen to shoot this guy? <clears throat> the last person I remember shooting was my deputy. I mean, no. <laughs> no. Did a, did a chandelier happen to fall on him? 
Every building is just filled with chandeliers. It's weird. Also, no. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, this guy had been shot multiple times as uh, he yep. came into town. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Not render aid of any kind? or <laughs> It's a jail, not a hospital. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> he was probably he was probably what, to no good. He's when he came in, I was holding claws. I was like, look, you look like trouble. We're just going to go ahead and put you in the cell. I don't help you, brother, but my hands are full. <laughs> so what you're all going to find out is that he's not been 100% honest and that he's actually the clawman, not the lawman. He's the, he's the yeah. national retailer for White Claws. I'm the claw in this Cold town. Clawman. <laughs> Stop in the name of my claws. <laughs> I haven't thrown dice at you in a while. I know. <laughs> That's a baby dice. I know. It's my little baby tooth. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If if, if uh, Clancy can follow the blood, I, I think follow we'd like to. the blood. Okay. So you follow this blood, and it looks like it's going towards the mines, which you know uh, this place uh, is notorious for having gold mines. But uh, something seems to happen to people when they spend too much time in these mines. Wait, uh, am I they actually They get gonna... rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one thing that happens. <laughs> am I actually going to be able to play football? Is that what we're saying? Football? Yeah, I talked about it earlier. It's I, a good I, I game. listen when you talk. I just sort of glaze over. Hey, 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 voice and head. Yeah. Sitball. Sitball. Got it. Going to be a sitball star. <laughs> okay. Uh, t roll me a history check. About football? <laughs> yes. I'll so tell you, you can, all about so it. So you can learn the history of football and who was the last 18 champions. <laughs> Hint, it wasn't the uh, Atlanta. I got a two. I'm making the Wikipedia page right now. Dennis, I swear to God. <laughs> It'll never be Atlanta. They ain't got no coal Tristan, mines down there. I swear to God. You're going to be a football star if you ain't got coal mines. That's right. <laughs> you got to be from West Virginia, Pennsylvania. Maybe Ohio. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Where else they do coal? I don't know. I'm not. I, I can't play character. I'm actually asking. <laughs> Colorado. <laughs> Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. So, uh, would you guys get for your history checks? Yeah. Fourteen. Two. <laughs> Dale doesn't know shit about shit. Fucking right. I rolled a nat twenty. Okay. It's gonna bite you. Clancy, you are very well aware of the rumors floating around this town that uh, there's a bit of gold fever for anybody who. <sighs> Spends too much time around the gold that's mined out of this place. So, you feel like... Uh, and with that, I mean, literally, heavy paranoia sets in, aggressive tendencies. Uh, there's a lot of turnover for the miners because of this fact. Like, they basically, like, you work for a while, and then you have to go away for a time before the fever lets, like, lets go. And then, then you can come back and work again. So nobody works here, like, just constantly and regularly. It's like the gold's charming them or something. All right, look, crew... I want you to understand something about this mine. Okay. Don't touch. I'm not talking to you, voice and head. Shut the fuck up. We're in the huddle and some randos there. Yep. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> yeah, he's just coming. He's like, okay, I, I'm part of the crew. True. Um, look. <laughs> he said the word. Sure. I don't want you touching any of the gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Even I just in want their hills. Even if it's super shiny and it looks like it, it's like life changing gold, don't touch it. Don't lick it. Don't smell it. Don't even think about it. Uh, but what if they're in the bloom form? Mm, that's a good question, yeah. Yeah. No. But yeah, I, I can't make any promises. It, look, here's. I, I'll explain to them what happens if you touch the gold or you stick around it too long. But, so basically, you'd be even, even an even worse version of yourself. Yeah, I mean, that sounds like a problem for everybody else. I feel like I've ingested enough seawater in me days that I can't quite, uh, it won't affect me the same way that it is affects you landlubbers. I'm going to get some doubloons while I'm in there. I'm just telling you now. What kind uh, of turtle? I'm literally amphibious. I mean, your cracked paws say otherwise. Okay. So there's only two really noticeable houses that are... Right there next to the mines. One is a pretty well-to-do house, um, and the other one looks more like a uh, like a store of sorts. So, so they ain't both alike in splendor. 
I would say the one looks a little splendorous and seems to have um, like an, a, some initials on the front of the house. But other than that, just looks like a really nice house. And then the other one looks more like it's a, a shop of some kind. These are on opposite sides of the street. I'll go to the store. Okay. It is locked. So. I'll knock. Uh, nobody answers. You can look in the windows, though. Okay, I do. Uh, it looks like a mining supply store. Is there a back door? Ooh. Uh, yes, there is a back door to this building. Why don't we just ask Sheriff to use his master key? The skeleton key? I was talking about that big iron on his hip, but... Uh... We don't need to waste any bullets on this. I got my trusty boots on. We'll just kick this door in and go check uh, it out. Door kicker. Okay. Uh, so roll me a strength check, Colton. That's a d20, and then you add your strength modifier. Last time I played around with dynamite, it killed the entire party. Uh-uh. Uh, I believe it did. <laughs> uh <-uh. laughs> I'm very, uh, no. <laughs> you do your dynamite plan. All right. I thought you just killed a whole bunch of kids the last time you fooled around with dynamite. Uh, well, you know. That was a different. That was a different time. Oh, I that wasn't the last time. Different time. Yeah, got it. Uh, that was I rolled an eight. And I think I, you got to bear with me. St my strength is 16, so it's is a that plus just three. It's a plus, plus three. three. Okay. So what, what what did, role, but if it was athletics, if you're also proficient in athletics. Okay. So let's just go with the 11. I don't need any. So, <laughs> I have so, no idea what you just said. So you. Doesn't look like anything. To you me. go to kick the door, and you try with all your might, but you're a little tipsy from the White Claws. And uh, you kick it, and it, it shakes and rattles. It does not roll. Uh, and it, it does seem like it splinters slightly, but does, it does not uh, open all the way. Can, was, I, oh, sorry. can I monk fist this open? I mean, you can Damn it. it if you want. Bobby? <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. You Damn like it, a, Bobby. A dex roll to I told you not to kick do like that a door. Full body dragon I sell kick. mining and mining accessories. <laughs> I, hold, I hold down low kick for three seconds, and then okay. I run at it. I mean, an attack roll of... Sorry, it's uh, Fist of the North. 15? Uh, yeah, you, you punch the spot where Colton had kicked it, and the door flies open. <laughs> That's right. Hell yeah. Hits the wall and then bounces back ever so slightly. Um, af after you, y'all. I'll go in. Okay, you head on in. Uh, this looks like a pretty sizable store, and you see there are numerous uh, barrels, lengths of rope, pickaxes, shovels, all kinds of different mining equipment in Outfits? here. Outfits? Yes. What's the name of the... Outfits. Is it, is it called the Five in Mine? Yes, it's called the Five in Mine. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, Fleet is going to look for, like, a, a little miner's cap with a light on it for Rhett the like a very tiny one, a good one for him. A child-sized one. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's already a miner's cap there, Captain. Yeah, of a miner's minor cap. A minor minor. I need a, a diminished cap. Do we have any of these here? A minish cap? Diminish. A diminished cap. Yes. Uh, no, you, I don't, you don't see any diminished caps. All right, caps. I'm going to take the money out of the register then. Uh, it seems to be... So you go around to the back of the register. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is a dead body of an old dwarf back oh. there who's got uh, a pickaxe stuck in the middle of Ooh, his face. Ask him stuff. Okay. Um, I'm going to raise the dead and talk to him. Okay. I'm going to burn that spell <laughs> right speak now. with the dead? Well, I don't have beak with the dead. If somebody oh. had a beak, I guess that could work better. Here at, here at five. Where's the pickaxe in their head? Where is it? It's, where is the pickaxe? Yeah, yeah. Dead it, center of their face. All right, I'm going to take that out because obviously this one works. <laughs> and I'm going to put it into my <laughs> uh, back satchel. Okay, Tasty you do. But uh, I've done Felita. A Felita. Felita takes out Beak with the Dead and hands it over to Gizzard. Yeah, hey, you want to you wanna do the thing? Yeah, I kind of want to do my thing. I haven't done it yet. Do, do the thing. You strap it to your face. Okay, uh, hold on. <laughs> um, hold on, hold on. Um, uh, <laughs> Sheriff, uh, try to refrain yeah. from asking any questions, and for, for now, please. That's a good catch. You got it. Okay. You you strap that goofy looking duck bill thing to your face. Uh, the body just sort of sits up. Its eyes are milky white. It's just like. Bleh. Are you all right? I'm dead. Okay. Oh, well, they. That was one. Who who did this to you? Some lady. 
I don't know her name. What sales do you have going on right now? <laughs> right now, buy four rope, length of rope, okay. get the fifth one free. That's a hell of a deal. Also, okay. dynamite, 100 pound of dynamite, 10% off. Oh. 10%? Also, okay, hold you on. can S- buy. Slow down. Okay. Also, <laughs> yeah. buy three pickaxes, get the fourth one shined up for you. Free, free pick shining. No, yeah, free shining for your fourth pick. Uh, Not the other three, though. No, I, I I heard you. Yeah. And then also uh, half off on half size shovels. Half off half size shovels. Yeah. So that's, that's four. That's four? Yeah. <clears throat> hey, don't you think a better name for your store would be like Five Mines Pickaxe Supplies? He falls down and dies. <laughs> He didn't answer. He only gets three questions. Yeah, he only gets three. I got five. No. No. <laughs> and he only asked three. He didn't ask four. Some bitch. So yeah, he just flops back down. Okay. Well, I think I got everything I needed. <laughs> but yeah, the register seems to be empty. Well, we're going to put money in it because oh, they have some good in sales it. and deals going got on right it, now. Got it, got it, got it. I'm going to grab me some dynamite. Uh, you go over to the area with the dynamite, and that area looks as though there used to be something there because mm. there's dust missing from everywhere but where the dynamite used to be sitting, but there's no dynamite. Shit. It also looks like the area marked fuses Shit. is completely bare, too. And I happen to find the blood trail. Heads yes. out back. There's a blood trail that heads out back. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I want, I want to get like a full miner's uniform with the helmet and the hat and the little candle at the front of the hat. Sure. <laughs> sure, bud. And I'm going to wear that. You're now a miner. Going incognito. Miner deputy. Incognito. Are there miner. any canaries in here? Uh, no. Mm. No canaries. No well, chickens. How about chaps? I'd like to wear only chaps. Hey. Yes. Onlychaps.com. Minor chaps. Yeah, minor chaps. <laughs> They have that. I am now cold. Okay. So you it's uh hot in the mines. Are you all heading out to the back of the building again? Yeah. Yes. Well, no, let's follow, let's oh. follow the blood trail. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fuck that other house. No so, dignity. So yeah, so the blood trail. I mean, trail, we get robes and pickaxes and stuff like that too. Sure. So you guys um lanterns. The blood trail appears to go around the side of the house and then in or the the Mining story, I should say. It looks like it goes into the uh, mine itself. Into the mine, into the mine. Roll me a pers... Well, no. Persuasion? No, no not nothing yet. All right. You just see the blood trail go into the mine. I persuade you to tell us what to do next with the 13. <laughs> uh, g- mine. 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 Y- y- y'all think we should be sneaky, or we just we? I mean, we are just a mining crew heading into the mines during the apocalypse. Yeah, I mean that's that's if you give up. You ever seen those pictures up on the wall, wall in the urinals, up where it's like oh, up no. on the wall in the urinals, where like it's a guy digging through dirt, and there's like a thing of diamonds Uterals. off to the right, and like he's so close, and he's give up, and he walk away, and then there's another guy below him who's digging, and he just keeps on going. And this is this is like that. Because it's the last day you can mine, it's the last day you can do it, and that's when you're going to find the mother load. Do we get I a... genuinely have no fucking clue what you're talking about. Yeah, he's just saying words. Uh, do we get like a plus D4 inspiration from that speed? No, you're all confused. You get I, a minus I know D4. Exactly what no, he's no, no, no. Jenna about. is confused. Oh, Alina's gotcha. probably like, yeah, absolutely. Sure, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh, actually, you get you know a plus what? D4 from my chaps. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and this chap's going to lead us the way. Roll, a, you know what? Roll me a perception check. Who? Who, me? All. Thank God, not just me. Got an eight. Eighteen. You, you, you suck at all your rolls down. I'd rather not lead in chaps, I'm just saying. That's fair. You can, stay, you can stay in the back. Yes, and I'd rather definitely. you not stay behind me. <laughs> <laughs> you know when everybody see the brands on your ass? Sure. What did, what did Gizzard, Scuttlebottom, and Felita get? Fourteen. Fourteen? Twenty-one. Okay. I got an eighteen. You three all see across the street... In that house, it, it looks like uh, there's like a, uh, a fluttering of light or something. You're not 100% sure from one of the windows up on the, the second level. And as you see that, there is a massive explosion from the mine oh. uh, that blows all of you backwards. <laughs> and as you're laying on your backs, looking up at the sky, you see gold 
flying up it through the air and raining down all over the town. See, I told you. And you can hear that momentarily, everyone seems to be elated. But and then within a me. couple of moments, well, yeah, obviously it's going to kill some people. Uh, but within a couple of moments, the elation sort of turns into uh, blood-curdling screams and gunshots and stabbing noises as the entire city seems to be taken with uh, gold fever. Oh. And at that point, we're going to call it. So thanks for tuning in. Check us out next time. Everybody here in chat, hang out, because we're going to take a short break and come back with the second episode. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reddit, and Twitch at Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers, the OG Lone Ranger, Big Jim, the Knuck, Lord Chronic, b Shanda Panda, Disgruntled Furniture, Chris Wisdom, Zucari, Scabby Goose, Lost Limey, Sapper Supreme, God King, Red Panda Bash. Bash him. And old Swamp Ass. Swampy. You want to support Disgusting. our stupid <laughs> show? Many different websites you can go to. FreedomValleyHorsePace.com, DickBlood.me, DickBlood.club, Cornhub.icu, LizardTeats.com, MookMilk.com, BuyTheseViagra.com, LouisianaPocketGophers.com, DamnYouDennis.com, BirdsWithPenises.com, <laughs> Chickums with two Ks, dot church, or simply Patreon.com slash BotchPodcast. Want to support the show but can't do it financially? That's not a problem. Head on over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to our show and leave us a five-star review, and it will save Chonky from getting hit because he'll also read it out on the show. (laughs) Beat him. It's that one. There you go. Like our newest five-star. Oh, God, thank God I'm not getting punched. punched. Five stars (laughs) by Apophis 101, 530-2023. Best D&D podcast ever. I have listened to Botch since the start of season one and it has, it has aged like a five dollar wine. <laughs> dot, 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 <laughs> dot, dot. <laughs> Capital keep up the good work, gang! Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. <laughs> and uh, thank you to and. Gozer for intro and outro music. Find and. them all over the internet at Gozer underscore music or listen to their new album on Spotify. Thank you to Emily Swan for her album art. You can find her all over the internet at a swan named Emily. Send something to the studio. You can do so at P.O. Box 3178, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 17325. And Chonky will open it up here on stream. Face first. Josh! Wow. I just Damn. left a review. Wow. Woo! <laughs> Uh, so Chonky won't get so beat won't get next punched time. next episode? No, it won't be in my, by next episode. Oh, that's right. Game. It takes a while. Uh, Fuck you, Josh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for, thanks for uh, putting up with us for this episode, man. What's going this, on? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I cut you off. No, this is amazing. Thanks for having me. Yeah. What's going on on the uh, Nintendo PowerCast? You seem to be putting out a lot of content over the last uh, couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like my full-time job now. That's so fucking awesome. Nice. Y- nice. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. So just, I mean, this is actually, y- you guys have kind of inspired me after Ooh. I got the invite. Uh, I'm I'm going to be doing a very similar thing with The Legend of Zelda. Hell yeah. And yes. so, and I'm a little bit bummed out because I had the idea before Roller Crit did it, like last Friday, and... So now I just look like sloppy seconds, but um, you know we're still gonna have we're still gonna have some fun. So hell yeah, is that gonna be on its own feed? Or a critical or? role did it, not roll crit. Critical role, sorry. Critical. Yeah. Uh, are you gonna start your own feed for that, or is it gonna just roll into the Nintendo Powercast feed? It'll it'll. St- so basically, what I've done with the Nintendo Powercast is I've tried to make it an audio magazine. Yeah. So it's got news. It's got. Like, I do a live show at 10 a.m. now that's just, like, uh, a topic with the chat. And today we had to pick the 10 Mario games we would take with us on a, like, deserted... But it's any Mario game, not just the mainline one. So if he's in it or his costume is in it. So it was... uh, It took a while because it's a lot of games. I think he's in something like 400 games or something like that. So... Nice. Yeah. 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 Uh, you can also find Josh on TikTok, at, uh, N64Josh, as he will teach you how to become a better Mario Kart player. So right. We need that. 
Challenge uh, accepted. Is, you can't make me any better. Yeah, that's I'm right. Shit. I can't get any better. <laughs> <laughs> we salute you, Big Jim Five. <laughs> you are this episode's most, most wanted. wanted. <laughs> and as always, when you roll into a new town and meet the chief law enforcement officer, but all he does is get fucked up on vodka seltzers, lose a prisoner, and then take you to his store so he can pick out pants for his adult-only pride <laughs> event outfit. <laughs> Scream botched, and we'll chap you. We'll see you next week, nerds. You can support each of us in our own little different ways. My first comic book has come out, and if you'd like to purchase it, you can head on over to www.hiveheadstudios.com, where you can even download a free sample of the book to see if it's something, you know, up your alley. Uh, you can also support me over at patreon.com slash hiveheadstudios. You can support Steve's stuff over at YouTube or TikTok or any of his other social media at he who is Steve. You can support Phil on Patreon or Twitch at Imaginary Nomad. You can support Jen by checking out her other podcasts like Horse Girls and all your podcatchers. You can also check her out on social media or Twitch at Jenna Chill, chill with one L. And you can check out Chonky every so often on Twitch at Chonky underscore Kong. I'm looking to, uh, with this company, to press some of our uh, episodes onto vinyl. So <laughs> I, I, just, I, I just need a couple thousand dollars on the Patreon. Uh -huh. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, actually, I need some Patreon money for my Amtrak tickets to Atlanta, but we can do that later. Oh, my God. They're going to love listening to our jokes on a skip. <laughs> what do you mean on a skip? Record skip. Hey, come, well, it'll be 180 come, great. Come, come. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. why you get that record player with, like, the, uh, the anti-skip, you know? It, it, CDs? It, it stores. Yeah, it, CDs. No, <laughs> no, it's vinyl, and it's it stores the music in the needle. Up to forty seconds. Well, with like so an SD if, card, if you bump the table, it's, like an it's iPod smooth. Mini. I remember. <laughs> He's talking about hit clips. Goddamn. I remember hit clips.